I think it's extremely promising for the future and, and for our ability collectively to control the COVID-19 pandemic. That's a Santa Clara County health officer with big hopes after seeing confirmation the COVID vaccine works in children as young as five years old. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6 live here on ABC 7, Hulu Live and wherever you stream. Uh, drug makers Pfizer and BioNTech make the announcement today saying their vaccine is safe and effective for children 5 to 11 years of age. This video is from Stanford University. Uh, which was part of the nationwide trial to test the vaccine on kids. Now this means it will be just a few weeks before elementary school age children can start getting the vaccine. ABC 7 News reporter Luce Pena is live in the newsroom with more. Luce. Dan, this is a highly anticipated announcement as we are seeing children go back to in-person classes. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, COVID cases among children have increased about 240% in the U.S. since July. The first results from the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine trial for children 5 to 11 years old are out, and the data is promising. Children 5 to 11 years old produce significant antibodies against COVID-19 with the dose and the schedule as provided in this trial. A robust antibody response that Dr. David Cornfield, head of pediatric pulmonary medicine at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford, says is fascinating. And they hit the Goldilocks zone, so to speak, where it wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. It was right at the correct spot. The 2,200 children who were part of this trial received two doses 21 days apart. But Pfizer did something different. Children got a 10 microgram dose. That's a smaller dose than adults who normally get 30 micrograms. And the response was strong. The immune response of children is more robust. Therefore, dosing the vaccine down a bit allowed for these kids to get efficacy from an antibody perspective. Today, San Francisco parent Melody De Leon says this data gives her hope as her two daughters, 11-year-old Sophia and 6-year-old Emma, go back to school. Now that there's a vaccine, there's a little relief. Ironically, today, Emma had to stay home because she woke up with a fever. First thing that crossed my mind, you know, because she has a fever and she was vomiting like, oh my gosh, like, is it COVID? Today, Pfizer announced they will submit this data before the start of the winter season. Melody says she will need that time to decide if she's comfortable with her daughters getting vaccinated, even though Sophia says she's ready. I want to get vaccinated so I don't get sick. FDA officials have said that once this data is submitted, the agency could authorize a vaccine for younger children in a matter of weeks. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News. Uh, Luz, take a moment, if you will, and tell us about the benefits to children getting a smaller dose, one third than adults. Yeah, Dan, according to Dr. Cornfield, by decreasing the vaccine dose for children ages 5 to 11 years old, Pfizer is also minimizing the effects of the vaccine like inflammation, discomfort and fever. He says 10 micrograms is enough for a strong antibody response for this group. Okay, all right. Luce, thank you.